What's up, everybody? This is the latest Risen Guild meeting for the people who couldn't be in attendance and for people who are out there just watching. Uh, if you don't know what this is, uh, this is our primary guild in World of Warcraft retail. We've been going through Dragonflight, and we are prepped and ready to go for the War Within and the entirety of the World Soul Saga. And along the way, we're dabbling in other games, much like we've done over the past 10 years. But this is a slightly different version of the guild because we're at scale right now. So we have a chapter in Enshrouded on the weekends. We have our main core group in World of Warcraft Retail. And then we also have a chapter that's getting ready to form up in EverQuest 2, which we're going to be talking about um, for the TLE server. We're going to be talking about that in tonight's meeting. So uh, mostly this is for the guild members who couldn't be there uh, tonight live. I record these so they can watch them afterwards, but also for people who might want to join us. Um, if you've been watching uh, our adventures in Dragonflight uh, over the last few months, you've watched us raid i've been posting all of our raids as we gone through the dragonflight content we're very non-sweaty normal mode only it's a lot of fun no drama there are a handful of people who do some mythical stuff in the guild but for the most part people are um we're just doing non-sweaty stuff and dabbling in other games together and having fun as a community so without further ado i'm gonna go ahead and get in the discord because it is a couple of minutes i'm one minute shy of start time um, and we got a list of things to go over tonight, so we're going to go do so. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon. Always got to remind folks. Don't forget, daily streams here and on Twitch. What's up, everybody? Hey, hey. Hello. <laughs> We missing anybody or did everybody make it okay? Rinjin, your pet looks just like you. Both your pets look just like you. <laughs> Regini, sorry. Just pronounced that wrong. You know what they say about pets. I mean. <laughs> this I is true. I was watching. I know how to get there. Oh, okay. There's a uh, portal at the top of the. Stormwind, if you want to take that route. I can summon you, too, if you want. Oh, yeah, summons as well. Yeah, if you could summon her, that would be great. Awesome. I have begun the process. Me, I'm already in the portal room, so I'm good. Does that shield have a glow effect on it too, Mads? Yep. It's got a sparkle yeah. effect. Okay, yeah. Are you dual wielding shields? Oh no, it's just a big ass axe. I didn't see it from the right hand side. He's sparkly. Yeah, if you look at it from right this angle, it looks like he's dual wielding shields. That's pretty cool. Oh, it does look like that. that yeah, like cool. two dwarven <laughs> heads on the head. I was like, holy shit, that's awesome. Where'd you get that? That would uh, be the ultimate prot. Prot Warrior, dual wield spec, two shields. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. All, right. All flank, no spank. <laughs> <laughs> I want to get a panoramic shot from out here. There we go. All right. Anybody else still in route or are we all here? Say something if you need help. Yeah, I'm trying to find the right portal. Oh, it's yeah, it's upstairs. Um, you have to. It's out away from the main ones. I actually had to look it up. <laughs> I couldn't find it earlier. Do we even have the exact beards? Oh no, we don't. <laughs> Lee Arpane and I are twins. Nice. Oh my god, you guys do have the same shoulder pads and everything. Yeah, because they're awesome. Uh, the only difference is Kel has a braided beard, and Liart's beard is open. But they look exactly the same other than that, so it totally could be the twins who... That's how they differentiate. One's got a braid, the other one doesn't. They got different cloaks, too. Do they? Their bunny ears are meta. Is that a... Kel, is that like a shield, that little orb of blue or is that a and it is different gloves too okay 
It's a shield. I couldn't tell if it was a shield or part of your uh, cloak. By the way, my, my high mountain Tauren shaman is coming soon. Heck yeah. Dude. I specifically unlocked that race first because it looked the, the the things with the antlers and everything the the moose antlers. <laughs> oh, this is so cool! They're so good. Love the moose boys. All right, who's missing here? Kikaku needs an invite. Oh, I, I'm here. I'm good. Oh, you're already in a group. Never mind. For some reason, it I was. We're good. We're good. All right. Um. We got a few things on the agenda tonight. First and foremost, I think it was Spooky who gave this to me. And if it wasn't, I'm going to feel like an idiot. Because um, I don't have any record of where I wrote it down. But we have a mount to give away tonight. Yep, nice. Was spooky. It was Spooky? All right, yeah, hang on. I remember. Yeah, because I think they said something in Guild Chat or something. And I don't remember shit unless it's like written down. <laughs> All right, let me put this in raid chat here. This will be uh, and we'll just if you if you want it, we'll random on it and high roll wins. If I can figure out how to do this, it's been a while. But you don't even know what mount it is. There it I'm is. Just joking. <laughs> <laughs> it's sure the, the it. coal fist gronling. Oh Ooh. yeah. Oh, that's a cool one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's like a little freaking Cyclops dude. Um, hang on, let's get sat in. All right, let's let's wait till I gotta make sure that set. Are you here, set? Like in Belamus, or are you still on the way? And do rolls matter? I'm assuming it's only gonna roll for everybody who's here locally. A little small for my taste. <laughs> <laughs> That's what she said. Oh, uh, oh no, no sick burns. No. <laughs> All right. Well, if you want, if anybody wants that, go ahead and there roll on it. And, and high roll wins. You just gotta use your Mister Smite boy, and then get on your Cold Fist Cronling. <laughs> yeah, it's way up, bigger. Yeah. <laughs> How's it match up to the Murloc? I gotta check here. Kikaku! My brother and I did not know that the giant tree mount they give you, like the int that you can ride, the trees color, the, the leaves color. Uh, leaf colors change. I can't speak right. The leaf colors change with the seasons. Yeah. So he logged in one night and it was like purple, and then the next day it was like brown or green or whatever, and he was like, oh my god, what happened? Yep, it's covered in snow and shit too in the wintertime. What? Cool. Is it really? Yep. That's yep. awesome. The leaves are all like covered in snow and everything. That's, also, if you look close behind cool. uh, behind the person sitting on it, there's a little worm that's like sitting in the hole of the tree. <laughs> I'm going to have to check it out in greater detail. Yeah, it's pretty cool. There's there's a lot of little stuff. I think uh, I think the Eep boy as well, he, he kind of chills in the branches every now and then as well. He's a little bird. All right, any other rolls for that mount? All right. Come on, someone, okay. someone could beat 89. All right, well, I'm going to call it. So, Kikaku, where are you at? Yay. Here, I'll go I just again. did my uh, consecration. Okay. That's the win right there. <laughs> Clapped up. It's not even big. <laughs> All right. Just stand, stand in well, the doorway, the AAH. Whenever <laughs> Kiki gets here, I'll hand that over. Um, season four. I think we said April 23rd, I think, is the launch date of that, which gives us, uh, what is it, three weeks, two weeks? i got to go look at the calendar again. Three, uh, 
we got yeah three weeks. We got this Saturday, next Saturday, and then the twentieth to clear um, Trindle and, and Ferric, and then we'll be on to season four stuff. Because I know for, it had popped up a couple of times in Discord the other day. So to reconfirm, um, we do plan on going back and doing whatever we can. I mean, it'll just be us, whatever they're calling. I forget what they're calling it. The faded raids, the new, uh, the new season four stuff, and also all the. Um, the, the the dungeons are changing over, so there's going to be a whole new ranking system for eye level. Um, but we will be doing that on Saturdays and just starting with the first raid and going through as far as we can until we get to the war within pre patch. Um, so we'll just keep going on Saturday nights as we've been going. But I just wanted to reconfirm that for everyone. Um, we'll wrap up the two bosses we've got left and then start at the beginning and do whatever season four has got uh war within will probably i mean i don't think there's any confirmation on dates yet but i'm i'm still assuming like a september-ish timeline has anybody heard anything otherwise or it's not even an alpha yet so yeah we won't know until we know yeah so it'll be end of end of year so we've still got plenty of time ahead of us so we'll be working on that and in the meantime some of you have already joined us we're doing uh in shrouded on um, Saturdays and Sundays doing quests and stuff um, and, and getting together more but um, if you want to come join at that there's also, I know some people hop on during the week and, and do stuff so if you want to do the Enshrouded you can and then Kel is heading up um, an EverQuest 2 TLE adventure um, chapter um, for when that hits in June I don't think we have an exact timeline on that yet, but that's going to be... I know you had mentioned, like, Monday nights. It's it's going to be, what, one or two nights a week? Yeah, one or two nights a week. Get some get some pre-made groups going, have people enjoying their time together, teamwork, team building. Yeah, and it's mostly just something to do in and around for those people who want something to do. Not everyone wants. There's a good core of people who are enjoying only World of Warcraft, and that's awesome. But we're also making sure to try to provide you know, people with lots of opportunities to come together as a community and just have fun together in various situations. Um, some people haven't played EverQuest 2 yet. Um, and so there was, you know, we've talked in guild chat as we've been streaming and stuff over the last few months, you know, there's been chitter chatter about, oh yeah, the guild features in EverQuest 2 are so cool and the housing and everything else. And so um, I know there's an interest from some people who have never played it before to see it. And we might get some old faces. I did hear back from uh, Gila. He said he might, he's not sure yet. Um, he still he was telling me he still wants me to go do Velius, and I was like, in my great abundance of time, sir, um, <laughs> it is the <laughs> one. Told me the same thing last night. It's yeah. the one expansion I would love to go see. It's just like when do I carve out time to go see? And it's the only expansion that I that I haven't done that I want to do because everything beyond it, I'm like meh. But anyway, and you'd um, have to do it on live, right? You'd have to yes, do that one on live. You'd have to do it in live. Yeah, that's what he was. Yeah. There's no way the TLE will get to Velius anytime soon. Um, but we do have the guild hall parked and everything on Antonia Bale. So if we ever did decide to go back, we all have, uh, those of us who were there, you know, we had level 70 characters that would be able to pick up. So we'll, we'll see if that happens at some point. Um, quick question, games like Enshrouded and mm -hmm. that type of thing. Is it, uh, are you doing that through Steam? How, what's yeah, the vehicle uh, for that? Enshrouded is through Steam. It's an early access title. I think it's like 30 bucks more or less and then, um, Lysander has a, uh, a server that he picked up, so it's a 16-man 16, 16 server, and I think there's like 10 of us playing right now, 10 or 12. Cool. Um, but it's it's done through Steam, yeah, you play that one okay, through Steam. Okay, great. Um, and it's not, like, it's not like only 16 people are ever allowed, like it's, you would just queue if there were 16 people on already, which has never happened so far, so. Right. Is that the main vehicle for a lot of the alternate games that are being played? No, uh, they're they're all over the place. I'd say. Okay, really, cool. really, here's the thing: is like, my, so my brother and I, before we did this iteration, my brother and I have done. I mean, Kel's been around for a lot of it. Maduros has been around for a lot of it. Um, we've gone off and done, like Lord of the Rings Online a couple of times. We've done EverQuest One a couple of times. We've done P99 a couple of times. We've done, fuck, I don't remember ESO probably in there somewhere. Um, Star Wars: Old Republic a couple of times. We have guild halls in pretty much every one of those games. Um, but then we didn't do anything for a couple of years because I was off moving and, and starting this place and everything else. And then on the homestead. And then when we got to the war within announcement, it was like, Oh, it's time to spin things back around. So in shrouded is the first thing we've been doing off book off, you know, outside of world of Warcraft. So that one's through steam. 
But in the past, we've always just played MMOs that are just, you can get them from wherever. But I know, um, like, I've went off and played with Gila, and I've went and played, like, um, what was that uh, Alien Fire Strike Fire Team? I can't remember the name of it now. Um, but we did, like, a co-op thing of that, but we did that on the Xbox. We played Diablo 4 together on the Xbox. We had a guild for Diablo 4 on the Xbox last summer. Um, so we've done stuff in a lot of different places, and I would say, you know, as we get bigger, we'll just see where everything goes. But I would imagine most things are going to be probably MMO-related with a handful of Steam steam things um you an awakening i want to be in the Xbox oh yeah I, guild, I, by the way we do need to talk about the um um dune awakening too so dune awakening is coming we just don't know when um i would anticipate if i would anticipate an early access launch this year probably uh, but not a full release until probably next year but it's shaping up to be something really special in terms of like a dune based rpg mmo crafting survival game that sounds a lot like a mixture of like destiny with hubs and you know optional pvp zones with pve only zones it's got a lot going on um and uh it's looking pretty good once that hits we'll be just kind of moving on from enshrouded and going to there um as the next like crafting survival thing we do together but we don't know when that's happening yet so in the meantime we are going to do um, the EQ2 TLE, uh, which is on different, you know, different days, different times, and everything else. Um, but I think the only one on the immediate horizon outside of EQ TLE would be Dune Awakening. Quick commercial break, everyone, to celebrate and give thanks to all of these amazing people who keep me on the air full time. Really appreciate the support. All you got to do is join as a member. You get access to private videos. You can also do super thanks on any upload or super chats and stickers on any live stream or premiere you see. And beyond that, don't forget we're multi-streaming over on Twitch now, so you can support over there as well. Thanks so much to everybody. Let's get back to the video at hand. Um, and that would be on different times than we play World of Warcraft. Once the War Within gets, though, it'll, you know, everybody will be prioritizing the War Within, at least for the first, I would imagine, two to three months, because we're going to go hard and heavy to make sure we've got all our crafting maxed and everything else. So we're kind of in the lull before the storm right now, where we're going to hit Season 4. People, some, you know, people are, some people are going to go full hog on that. Other people will do, you know, casually. I will do a Wednesday night group for sure doing dungeons, because I'll, I'll need to get geared up with the new eye level. And then we'll have Saturday night raids. Um, and outside of that, for people who want to do other things, like there will be a probably Monday night, Tuesday night type thing for EverQuest 2. And then on the weekend afternoons for people who want to do Enshrouded, that's when we're doing that. Um, that was that. Final two bosses. That, that, that. I will I be most definitely whole hog for Dune Awakening because I'm a big survival crafting fan, especially from Funcom. So if they have private servers, I'll be setting those up and paying for them so you guys can all join in. Anybody who ever wants to do Conan or something, I'm always running private servers for that as well. So just get with me and I'll get you the info. All right, yeah. Cool. So we're trying to do lots of different things to keep people having fun this summer. So play what you want. We'll try to provide as many opportunities as possible and keep the community together and moving forward. Um, and I would also urge any of you who want to, and I know Rusty, you, he's already been doing it to some degree. Um, anybody who wants to create content around our official Risen activities and put that in the Discord so that your your community members can see it and promote it and so on and so forth, feel free to do so. Don't, don't be ashamed. It doesn't matter if you've only got 20 followers, you're just starting out. If you want to make content around what we're doing, rock it out, man, because... Uh, that's that's what uh, it would be awesome to see more and more people as, as you want to get into it. And um, for those of you who are getting ready for the Fallout show, uh, Elgato just dropped that. I, I put it in uh, Discord. That looks like a six. <laughs> it's like a startup kit for streamers, but it's all Fallout style. It looked really cool. Um, I think that's coming out in a couple of days for Fallout folks. Anyway, I got nothing else. Anybody else got anything they want to add? I already added my bit in the uh, the guild chat when you were talking about the Elgato thing, because I'm a hopeless consumer. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to see if they ship it to the homestead. Because if they ship it to the homestead, I might have to. I might. I, you know, we'll see. 
Anyway, like folks, starting a week long celebration in honor of the TV show coming out in a week in this house. So that's how crazy we are here for Fallout. You should see the crap that Todd has sold us over the years. <laughs> and we have been sorry every time, but we still love it. So <laughs> good times, Ed. All right, guys, guys. Well, that's a wrap. Um, I got nothing else. Um, tomorrow night, we will be hitting Tendril and hopefully kicking her ass. I feel like we had a pretty good grasp on the attempts. We were just at the end of the session last time. We were already two hours in. So it's not. It's, I don't, I don't want to push anybody on two hours because that's that's. I'm tired by that point. Um, but we'll we'll uh, make a solid attempt tomorrow night and then hopefully get that down and then all we got left is Ferric and then on to season four and the summertime stuff and then the war within this fall which is gonna be awesome does uh does anybody know if they have any more info on the time running pandemonium thing yet on season four I have no idea I've heard nothing the only thing I heard so far is that some friends and family testers were doing it whatever it is so a lot of the a lot of Blizzard's focus for the next month or so is going to be on season three of Discovery. Wow. For them, so I would expect more news towards the end of April. That's probably a fair point. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Because if it's got anything to do with Pandaria, like I'm, I'm going to be full force into it. I, I love Pandaria, everything. So it's been pretty good. I've got a lot of good transmog stuff out of there with my monk. Um, oh yeah. Now that I'm past the Dragon's Dogma 2, I think so I can good. get back to that because uh, I've still got like two zones to clear, I think. So I've still got about another probably 20 hours of content. Wow. All right, everybody. That's a wrap. Go forth. Have fun. Have a good uh, Friday night. Um, and I'll see everybody tomorrow night. Um, right. Also, I also just wanted to add real quick for anybody that uh, may not know, if, if anybody like tags me in Discord or something like that, if they need help with anything... Um, throughout the day. I'm generally free throughout most of the day after like 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern time. So if anybody needs help running like Mythics or, or whatever, uh, I can I can go up to probably... Actually, I don't know what I can go up to now because the new the new Mythic Plus uh, stuff. But just to like gear up and whatnot. Good just guy uh, right yeah, tag me on there and uh, I'll jump on. I can tank or heal or DPS or whatever. I got a quick question too. So I want to give this mount to Kikaku, but it says that they're not friendly. Oh, oh they're horde. Yeah, I didn't realize that was. I'm a horde. Thing. Uh, I, if I, he logs in, if he logs into an alliance character on this realm, he can. Boom. He can just learn it real quick, yeah. and then. Uh, oh, yeah, account. that'll work. Yeah, just let me know, Kikaku. Let's let's sort that out. Oh, I don't have any alliance. So if we, if you want to no. roll, re, if you want to do a re-roll, that's cool for me. It's all good. No. You can make one. Make all you gotta do is make a, a character and and get and I, he can just give it to you. Though. Just make a, a dark iron or a void elf. It doesn't feel yeah, like many. As long as long as they can use the mount. Uh, yes, it'll, it'll add. It. It'll get linked to your thing, and then you can yeah. delete the character, never have to touch it again. <laughs> I'll see. If, uh, that sounds like a lot of work because I also I'm <laughs> prepping for a Pathfinder game like right after this. All right, so. well let, we'll just yeah. go to the next. It's all good. We'll go to the next, the next number. It's all good. Which was Kel? <laughs> Did Kel yeet already? No, I'm here. All right, where you at? Woohoo! In the middle. One of us. One of us. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> well, congrats, Kel. Anybody so need sorry, any alts too. invited or? Any of that kind of stuff before I log off? Not yet, at least. It's Mothman Equinox in 76, so me and the Friends United are all doing that, so I'm going to head back over there if nobody needs any invites. Have fun and fall out. Yeah, it's a lame game, but it's awesome with friends, so. Yeah, that's the most like important 76. part. Anything can be awesome with friends. <laughs> yes. It's, I love the Mothman, so just I'm a sucker for it. So, yeah. You guys have an awesome night. All right, you see you guys. Yep, you too. Yeah, Take everybody. Uh, you guys. Speaking of uh, Fallout 76, I just want to add. All right, everybody. I'm out. I got to go do other stuff. Catch you next time. Like, subscribe, hit the bell icon so you never miss an update. Come join us if you want. We have a lot of fun together. It's a good gaming community. See you next time.